Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope that my videos are, you know, just giving you a good insight or just give you a good vibe, you know, especially when you truly need it. And, you know, please go ahead and share. It will be greatly appreciated. And the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, keep dropping that tea of knowledge, even if it's not one um, everyone's cup of it. There was a post I was going to put up after I put, you know, because it's like if you've been with me for a while, you go on my community page. Um, I, you know, I usually do my videos and now I'm starting starting back uh, to do my um, my podcast. And then now, you know, I'm hoping this video is going to be out before, before then. I'm going to go ahead and do a live chat today at 430. Um, e uh, what is it? Eastern Standard Time. So hopefully you'll be able to connect with it. Because, you know, I've been telling y'all for the last few days, you know, hey, I'm going to start back that up. Because I haven't did it in, God, oh, like probably about two two months I think that's what it was like I told y'all you know universe got me all over the place and you know I'm just trying to do different things or whatever but you know um I saw a post I was gonna put up and I was like dad I'll go ahead and put it up later but it was just like you know you're not everybody's cup of tea and that's true you know there are gonna be different times you know um I've been doing my videos uh it's been six years and it's just like, tag, it's been six years already. I think it's been six years. It's like, if it's not, it's like five and a half, six years. Um, and I've just like, I've shedded so many veils. I've, you know, molded in so many different ways. And, you know, there'll be different times people are like, I just don't get it. You know, or I even heard a funny that somebody told me I was doing clickbait. I'm like, that's one thing I ain't never did, clickbait. I may use a different, um, uh, uh, use a content title. And, you know, now, if you assume that, then, you know, that's, you know, that is what it is. But I'm like, I don't do clip baits. It's nothing against other people to do it, but I just don't. You know, that's just not me. But, you know, I'm at that vibe like, you know, there's going to be certain people that's just not going to like me. That's okay. You know, there's just going to be a lot of people that is going to truly love me. You know, and that's truly okay, too. And, you know, and it's appreciative, too. You know, just appreciate everything that comes your way, whether it's good, bad, happy, or sad. You know, it's all about learning. You know, and there's going to be times where people are just not going to get you. And there's going to be times people are just not going to like you. Or people are just going to be understand what what is your purpose. And it's like, you know, I'm finding mine. But baby, what your issue is, you may be needing to find your own. I'm like, ooh, okay. You know, and it, it's just like doing all the different things that I'm doing. Like, y'all, I'm loving this new me. I'm really loving this new me. You know, um, if I can get up in the morning, if I had something that bothered me, you know, the day before, the day before, and just, you know, go ahead and have my, my talk with God and, you know, just really, you know, settle it out, duke it out. Because, you know, because a lot of times, you know, you, you you know, God will sit up there and be quiet. You already know there'll be different times and like, hey, don't do that. Or, hey, you know, go ahead, keep going. You know, I'm proud of you. Or even, you know, don't do that, but I'm still proud of you, you know, because you're allowing yourself to stay open for that you know you're gonna be evolving every you know every even five minutes from now you're gonna be a different person you know and just getting at that vibration where I'm recognizing that that inner goddess warrior of me and you know it, it was always there and I had to be able to find it you know and there's different times where I can watch my videos and say girl you're good you know, you're really strong. Even though there'll be a lot of times that I've had so many different things going on in my life, sometimes it's hard for me to really see that, you know. And it's a beautiful thing when other people can recognize it and say, girl, you know, I needed this video today. Or, you know what, I was really going through some stuff and really was trying to understand it and just trying to find a vibe or just the words to be able to explain it. But sometimes I try to explain what's on my head and some folks will be looking at me like, I don't know what you're talking about. And it's just sometimes, you know, you, you, you can be on that deep vibe that not everybody gets your vision. 
And that's okay. You know, there's a lot of times that universe and God will place a vision on you that nobody else can see. As long as you can understand it, and even if you don't, you're like, universe, I'm open to all the things that you got me going. You know, you got me going in the directions you got me going and what you choose for me to uh, speak on and project through my knowledge, growth, you know, inside or whatever, whatever, whatever. But sometimes I just don't get it. And when you know you staying open for that, you know they're always going to give you assistance in any kind of way that you truly need it. But when you allowing yourself to say, you know what, I'm open and being wanting to be very well spoken. Can you go ahead and tell me what you mean on this? Because uh, I need you to dumb it down, dumb it down dot com for me in that spiritual sense. You know, whatever other kind of sense that you need to get. You be laughing and be like, Rosalind, dumb it down dot com. Yes. You know, I, I'm because sometimes I don't like all them analytical, you know, uh, verbiage of uh, long gating words all the that on time. It's good to be able to tell smile. It's like, oh, she know what she's talking about. She done got some education and this and this and this and that. And then it's just like, oh, that's what you were talking about. Oh, what she was saying, you know, because sometimes you need that spiritual dumb it down dot com subtitles. You know, I'm just like, man, look, <laughs> I ain't got time for all that. You know, you're going to either get it or not. I ain't got to be proven how much knowledge I got from the energy. My energy should be able to tell you, like, hey, she know what she's talking about or hey she you know she got something that you know i can really um relate to and there's gonna be just some times that people are gonna be just looking at you like i really don't understand what you're talking about and you're just gonna be okay you know maybe that message wasn't for you because it'll be different times you know and i said that's why i love staying woke because sometimes people just do that just to have something negative to carry to see if somebody else can carry on with it and i've had plenty of those and you know now it's just like I appreciate the person I am today. You know, I've seen there's times where people have came out just to tag me because they were insecure about something or they were really trying to poke something at me because they felt some kind of way. And it's just like when you when you're allowing yourself to do that energy clearance, you'll start seeing I used to try to understand it's like why, you know, why 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 did why did they come at me like that? And then it would be just at times where I, when I've gone through my meditations and then when I allow myself to really sit up here and see the different vibes I carry. You know, I can't speak for other people, but the vibes I carry, there'll be some times that I'll be just on that, that, ooh, I want to poke with you today. You know, but me, I'm just more, you know, I'll throw shade in a minute and be careful. I'm like, hey, you know, throw some shade and be like, you want a pair of glasses and join, me, join on with me? I'm like, you know, but it's not like one of those ones where... I'm saying something just for me to carry that, you know, because there'll be some people, especially on here, they'll be trolling, you know, and really be trolling, be trying to get that negative gravy chain. And I mean, it's, it, you know, it is what it is, but um, it, it's just like I'm on that voyage where even when you're doing that, I still appreciate you. At least, you know, um, I, I can understand where you're coming from. I'll be understanding where you're coming from. Just because I don't do stuff like that, I'm going to understand it and just keep going. And I'm going to still keep dropping my tea. I'm going to still keep dropping my knowledge, my insight, because there's so many different things that are going on in the world. And you can be an ambassador or a speaker for that. You know, I don't like that word leader and all that junk. You know, you're trying to be a spiritual president, you know, I'm a, you know, and also an employee, you know, and, and a student at the same time. You know, I just like that. I just be, like to be well spoken. You know, that's our hell good thing. I don't, I don't like labels. You know, I'm just trying to be everywhere I can be as long as I'm not falling back. And if I fall back, I want to retract, regroup, and like, hey, you know, I feel back a minute. I'm right back up now. You know, and you're going through those different things. And it's just like the fact is there are going to be some times that people are just not going to get you. And you have to be very unapologetic for that. You know, and it's like, it's okay. You know, I'm not saying that it's just being, you know, straight rude or anything like that. But a lot of times you got to come heavy with it. You know, there, there's just going to be some time. Somebody's just not going to be on that same frequency as you. There's going to be certain people that are just not going to understand that vibe of that, 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 you know, that verbiage that you got, you got going on. And um, different things that's taking place in your life, you know, um that you can just say you know what I've lived this life and I experienced it and there was so many different things that's going on in my life where I felt lost I felt alone I felt hurt I felt pain and then when I allowed myself to really just change flip the script on myself flip that table over you know table on turn I'm flipping it the heck over and I just really allowed myself to say you know what I had to really change how I seen things. I had to really change how I talked about myself, how I represented myself, and I hold myself accountable for my own actions. Am I seeing a part of the suffering that I played a big part in? You know, and am I going to be a part of that? 
plot twist that is going to empower myself to help other people empower themselves. I want to be inspiring to be that inspiration to help other people inspire themselves. You know, and and drop and keep dropping that tea. You know, and and it's just when you can find out something new about yourself and you can share it with other people because a lot of times we can lose hope in the middle of healing. You know, really trying to find ourselves, understanding where my spot sits in with just myself, not just with the crowd. Because a lot of times you can be following a crowd and lose yourself. But you can create a crowd of your own. And it'll be a lot of times like, you know what? I get you. You know, I understand you. You know, I'm growing. And the fact is, and I want to see you grow too. You know, if you need some encourage, come me. You know, come to me. I want to be able to encourage you. Because a lot of times we go through, you know, we go through life. And we can be able to create our own enemy because we lost so much. It don't make you feel like you're a loser or, you know, you have gone through so many different things that can make you lose hope that better days are coming, you know. And it is just like when you can be open and uh, be transparent like that, there'll be different people that will probably try to get on that, you know, that bandwagon. Or let me go ahead and try to knock that person down a little bit more. You think they messed up now. Let me go ahead and do that. But then there'll be somebody that will actually hear you and understand you and say, hey, I was totally there. I got that. You know, I've been there at times. But let me tell you this, sis. Or let me tell you that. You know, bro, let me tell you that, fam. You know, it's not going to always stay that way. It's not going to always be that way. You have to be able to change your perception of how you see things into your life. It's all about what we choose to focus on, how we choose to see the things that we're going through. Am I going to allow myself to say I'm learnable, I'm teachable? You know, I'm trying to create that best version of myself. And when I'm trying to do that, I got to stay open for change. I have to be, you know, staying open and not taking it personal when I'm getting corrective criticism. You know when it's corrective crit criticism or it's an underlying jab or somebody just trying to poke with you you'll get that you know and sometimes if it's, it's just like huh and you get that vibe that's like you know that's something don't even touch that <laughs> you know it's on something that's on a vibe that you you know you ain't even trying to be on it's so, okay you get on your, your your you know your tranquil uh uh what, what is it magic carpet you know, I'll be Aladdin and God on Jasmine at the same time. And keep on messing with me. I'll be the genie. God rest in, rest in peace, you know, Robin Williams. I love you too. You know, and be there. And it's just like when you can allow yourself to twist and turn and go through them flips. You know, we go on spiritual, emotional roller coasters all the time. You know, even when you are at that vibration of being positive and saying, you know, I love the person I'm becoming. You know, I'm appreciating every, every you know, situation, uh, whether it, it comes through the hard times, the light times, the good times, the bad times, and just being able to learn to it and just take it, put it in my knowledgeable book bag, you know, swipe or so swiping. You know, I'll be door to explore for that and you know and it's good you know you have to be able to do that but that mean that doesn't mean you have to stay strong all the time and I was listening to my girl Stephanie when she said that I said girl I feel that you know because even when you're trying to stay positive there are going to be different things that's going to work your nerves you're going to see stuff spot it out but just don't allow that to take that you know don't don't let it put you in a cloudy spot because a lot of times it's just there for you to observe and just keep moving it's like oh you saw that you peeped that oh okay all right long as you know I'm, you know I'll be telling my higher self to the middle self to the to the I don't know self you know and be like you seen that yep mm -hmm. all right you gonna allow that to mess up your day no mm -mm. all right let's carry on act accordingly and you're gonna be able to do that so you know keep dropping that tea you don't know who needed to hear that today if you're going through some bad times it's okay you know them bad times are teaching you so much about yourself so much about the changes you need to go through some some changes you need to just give yourself that gentle push give yourself that gentle reminder you know, are you trying to create something solid into your life? Yeah, I am. Okay, you're going to have to know there's going to be some experiences just really going to shake you up. It's going to disturb you. It may even piss you off or irritate you. And it's okay because you're learning more about yourself. Your truth is unfolding. You have to be able to trust the process. A lot of times it's not going to come in the same direction that you thought it was going to be. You have to be able to be, even on the one-way streets, it's going to hit you from the opposite side. And you have to be ready for that. Expect the unexpected. When you know you're allowing yourself to be, even if you carry fear in your heart, 
in, in uncomfortable moments. That's letting you know God is seeing that. Like, you know what? My child is sitting up here even moving. Even when she when he or she's not certain. They may be scared because they don't they don't understand this this new level I put them on. But they're being open just to be able to say, I'm I'm you carrying my hand. You're holding my hand. You know, you're protecting me. And I'm wanting to move on with that. And you know, allow myself to really appreciate where I'm going and, and just being allow myself to say I'm gonna be open. You know, if you're going through some stuff, it's not going to always stay that way. You know, allow yourself to keep waking up today and say, you know what, this is that day to prove to myself I'm going to be a new version of everything. Even if something pops up in my head, if it's negative or it's just something just, you know, it, it, you have to be able because I had to allow myself to retract and use the law of, of discerning, you know, not allowing yourself to see everything as a negative or positive. Sometimes you got to be in limbo just to be able to see it as, OK, that was just a thought for me to observe, take it in, soak it in and then allow myself to not embody that. Because especially if it's in the past, it's just allowing you to know what, what that situation taught you, what that person taught you and allow that to, you know, show gratitude to that, push it aside and keep it moving. You know, this is that, that new era where, you know, it, it, it's an open season pass. You know, you may be, uh, what, what they call that, you, you um, God, dog, when you ain't been assigned, you a free agent. <laughs> it's like you'll be a free agent and stuff like that until it's just where God's putting you at. But it's just like you're going to keep training. You're going to keep allowing yourself to be taking them spiritual emails. It's like, like you know, keep your eyes open. You know, you, you keep getting it. You know, they are, the universe is constantly telling you, trust what's unfolding in front of you. You know, allow yourself to stay open. Don't be seeing everything as the worst situation, even when it's just being quiet. You know, it get real scary when God get quiet, universe get unshaky, you know, but it's good. I be looking like, you know, hey, but at least they ain't poking me like, girl, why are you doing that? You know, or why are you letting that person put you out of balance? So don't keep that stuck in your head. Or you know what? I'm so proud of you. You really just seeing it how you need to see it. And you getting what I'm, you getting what we putting down. You allowing yourself to pick up what we, we what we're telling you to move focus towards. And you disconnecting from things that's no longer serving you. And this is, this is what what they're really teaching you allow your stuff to stay open keep dropping that tea of knowledge you know healing you know support encouragement so, you know get out of survival and live experience enjoy you know appreciate you know there's a lot of times it's hard to appreciate stuff that really just ugh. but it's okay it's, it's learning something <laughs> it's learning you to learn so, you know, allowing yourself to do that. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of that video, y'all. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Jim Mack. Much love to you as well, Lauren Brandon. Um, Jamal uh, Jason, Jason, I hope I pronounced that uh, right. And Alex and Anger, you know what, I'm, I'm done with you. Because <laughs> you have me laugh. It'll be too early in the morning. I was reading that message at 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I, let me get off my computer. I'm going to just close this right on up. You know, and be like that.